Christmas was declared by the people who don't own to those who don't deserve. 105 years after Britain has declared its intention of establishing a national home for Jews here in Palestine, turning Palestinian lives into constant state of fear and grief. With the anniversary of the Balfour Declaration every year, Palestinians all over Palestine mark this tragic day, remembering the ongoing Israeli crimes extended since 1948. As part of an exhibition in which the Palm Strategic Initiative Center was a partner, dozens of Palestinians attended to renew their rejection of the ominous Balfour Declaration. This exhibition sheds the light on the art as a tool of the Palestinians' cultural resistance against the Israeli occupation. For Palestinians, the Balfour Declaration was what gave the green light for the Zionist gangs to occupy Palestine in 1948. The exhibition includes um, a theatrical uh, performance show between a grandfather and a granddaughter uh, telling us uh, a story about the Palestinian narration and the Palestinian history. Uh, the second the corner is a mural, uh, so the Palestinian and the audience signs their uh, condemnation and their uh, confirmation of uh, the rejection of the, uh, of the Palfour Declaration. And the third corner is um, a group of paintings, as you, as you see, a group of paintings uh, painted by uh, Palestinian artists uh, representing the Palestinian history, the Palestinian suffering and uh, the Palestinian reality in, in fact. It wasn't about giving a national home for Jews in Palestine, but the Balfour Declaration allowed the Zionists to declare the state of Israel on the ruins of dozens of Palestinian villages destroyed by Israeli gangs. Balfour facilitated the displacement of 750,000 Palestinians during the 1948, during which the Zionist militia committed dozens of massacres against Palestinians. <laughs> One hundred and five years on, Palestinians still live under continuous waves of Israeli violence that the world turns a blind eye to. One hundred and five years on, the old might die, but the young will never forget.